welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Vet in the Van. Now, I must first say that I've been pretty tardy on my YouTube episodes, um, and a staggering, staggering thing has occurred, which I myself am completely shocked. And that is Tanya's Instagram is ahead of my YouTube, which saddens me inside because I was always uh, so up to date with my YouTube in the sense that I probably do, you know, get some footage and, and have it up within a couple of weeks, but I, <laughs> I'm like, I'm behind. So anyway, um, what are we doing this episode? Um, this episode, uh, we pick up from where we left off on the Great Ocean Road in Victoria, leaving uh, Cape Otway, and then we shoot across over to Port Ferry and then across into South Australia, check out Mount Gambier on the way through, and then the main part of this episode is a little place called South End. Now, if you haven't been there, it's, uh, it's in um, South Australia, just below Adelaide, or a fair bit below Adelaide on the coast, and it's just lovely. There's this, there's a caravan park there that has a caravan park and uh, kind of like a bush camp, and the bush camp is epic. It's right on the beach, the beach is beautiful, it's well laid out, and it's cheap. So yeah, anyway, the event continues, <laughs> enjoy. All right, so parked up, 12 apostles. There's like a million people here because it's a public holiday. Kids are in, having some food. So we're just gonna have some lunch and then we go see the 12 apostles. Haven't seen them for years and the kids haven't seen them at all. So anyway, feels touristy, but it's fun. <laughs> it's really beautiful here. We were here, what, more than 10 years ago. Yeah, three kids. Three kids. There's a lot more people here now. Yeah. <laughs> which, they're building a whole new walkway lookout thing, which is currently in the midst of construction, so access is a little bit more difficult, but still all right. Um, but yeah, no, it's beautiful. That's I love that you can... Uh... Nice to see all the uh, that limestone formations. I love and you can see like continent making in uh, in progress. So it's yeah, and it was saying that it's ground away at two centimeters two per year. Wow. So that means you can see all the new apostles that are basically getting born out of the edges of the cliff as everything's getting ground away. So Very cool. I want to get one of these. Sometime in our future, we're going to restore an old van. Tell it with a mini. Tell it with a... <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool. Whoever you are, your van is awesome. <laughs> we'll go do a kitchen, bed, couch. Oh. There you go. Port Ferry. Coming into Port Ferry. So a quick stop over in Warrnambool just to pick up a few bits and bobs. And now we are coming into what apparently, according to the sign, is the world's most livable community. Now I'm not sure what that actually means, the world's most livable community, but it sounds good. So um, we're staying at the Gardens Caravan Park. There's, there seem to be two, one, there's like four caravan parks. One's further out and it's got like 4.3 stars on a wiki. And one's uh, by the beach, which has got just over four. And then the other two are pretty low. So we went with the one in town so we could walk 
um, and have a bit of an explore. So I think it's going to be pub o'clock tonight because I don't think we can be bothered cooking yeah. and we haven't defrosted anything anyway. And yeah, so 24 hours in Port Ferry, look out. Yeah, so we were looking to spend some time exploring Port Ferry this morning and last night, but unfortunately the weather had other ideas. <laughs> it's cold and it's raining and yeah, so we're just gonna hightail it to South Australia and hopefully the weather's a bit better in and around Rome. It looks like it's a bit better in and around Rome. What are you doing? Stop it. Oh. <laughs> kids just like, oh wow, look Show at this thing in the middle of the road. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we're heading to South End. There's a little beach camp we want to check out. In 600 um, metres, turn left onto Albert Street, Princess Highway. Which is apparently really, really good. So um, it's about three hours away. We'll cross the border. We might stop at Mount Gambia along the way and hopefully find some better weather. Hopefully. We hit the road and soon crossed the border into South Australia, making a quick stopover at Mount Gambia. The Blue Lake started its life some 20 million years ago as an ancient volcano. The lake naturally contains a high concentration of calcium carbonate absorbed from the surrounding limestone. During the warmer months, the calcium carbonate precipitates out of the water and forms microcrystals. When the sunlight hits the crystals, it scatters blue light and gives the water its brilliant blue colour. So I was saying a trip to Mount Gambia wouldn't be complete without a uh, workout at the local Mount Gambia Park gym. <laughs> Cheaper than gym subscription. How's your New Year's resolution? <laughs> Sweet sister. Sexy. One of those stormtrooper things in Return of the Jedi. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. I can't reach any further. Bump it up, Eli. I can't reach any further. Gumby, man. <laughs> what is that oh. I don't know. It's a good back stretch. It's like it's going to break something. I feel like I'm going to break something. <laughs> I think I'm going to sore tomorrow. <laughs> so, we need to know can Tarns do a chin up? Go. Are you ready? Yep. One. That was one. <laughs> <laughs> that was two. <laughs> yep. So, I got five. Okay, my turn. My turn, my turn. Do one though. That's true. I did one! Oh no, man. Alright. Not nice doing time. Now when we get out, it's gonna hit the water. Uh-huh. Should rush. Mm -hmm. So Eli polished off his. The other guys. That's doing well. Well, so is Charlie, so is Charlie. Such a Chili Wins challenge. I'm actually mm. that's <laughs> But it's that's the opposite of Charlie. What? Um, it's actually basically like you're getting weaker and I'm getting stronger. Thanks for the talk, Carl. <laughs> How cool is this, eh? Oh, is this the bush camp down here, do you reckon? Yeah, last ride. Yep. Last ride, wow. Oh, I miss the South Australian beaches. Anyway, we're in South Australia. So, we have come to a little town called South End. And there is a bush camp that has come highly recommended. So we're gonna park up here for the week and just potter around the area. Here it is here, South End Tourist Park Bush Camp. Unpowered, pet friendly, cold showers. What could you want? How long has it been since we've been camping on the beach? A while. It's been a while. And you're not even gonna get eaten by crocs. Woohoo! No crocs. Ah, no crocs. No jellyfish. But it looks like it, it does actually look like it's um so blowing a gale out there. <laughs> Swimming so is gonna be a bit cold. You can swim if you want, but now apparently we're inside seven. seven. Yep, to the left. There's 28 sites here. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. site seven. And on the first of February we're allowed fires here too, apparently. Yes. 
So there's a fire pit. Um, it's only um, 30 bucks a night. Uh, so that is a lot cheaper than what we've been paying for the last two weeks down on the uh, Great Ocean Road. Um, and yeah, we will settle in. We can find our campsite. There we go, that's site uh, number one. Site number three, site number five, and then site number seven. All right. Seven, straight ahead. Straight in the middle there. Straight behind the dunes. All right. Uh, what Come do you on. reckon we? Yeah. We're in there, can't we? All right. Park her up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here we are, South End Bush Camp, South End Tourist Park Bush Pack Bush Camp, and we're here. Fire pits there, we can have fires in a few days. February the 1st, I think, I according to. Toby made some shells. We got those little um, shells for the little paints from Kmart that you can paint rocks and stuff like that, and the boys love them. So, been painting some shells, and literally straight over the back there is the beach. So, I'll show you later. I'm going to go up there in a tick. I've just got a few more setups to do or setup stuff to do, but yeah, that's us. And. It's quiet, it's peaceful, that's what we like. So we're here for the week, South Australia. It's good to be back. So anyway, as I was saying before, that's us down there. And then you literally walk up over here, if you don't get blown away. And it's like a boat marina. And you get this. Hey. Back at the beach. Awesome. The boys are chilling. It's not that windy, but it is good to be back at the beaches of South Australia. I think it's chill on the beach time. I reckon so, chill on the beach time. We spent the afternoon just relaxing on the beach and then headed back to the campsite for some dinner and, and an early night. The next day we got up and we didn't really do anything at all. Uh, we pretty much just spent the day relaxing on the beach, building sand castles and just chilling out with the with the kids, which was which was really nice because we'd been just so busy and everything had been so hectic since Christmas. Um, but as golden hour approached, um, we thought we'd go and do a little bit of an explore. So South End is right next to Kanunda National Park, um, which is small, but there's some awesome little four-wheel drive tracks that dot around the park. And there's some um, just beautiful, quintessential, rugged South Australian coastline. Um, so yeah, we thought we'd go for a bit of an explore. And first stop was Rainbow Rocks. So, Kananda? Kananda. Kananda National Park is what I meant to say before and I didn't. I tell you what, again, I love just going on random adventures because just down here by the ocean, when you come into the National Park, there's this beautiful petrified forest. And I'll chuck some B-roll in. And then there's a blowhole as well, which you can hear the kids getting very excited over. 
but the sun's coming down and there's a big wave coming in. Stay back, guys. Oh, look at that. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's just beautiful. And we're going to see the sunset. So, Kananga National Park. Kananga? Kananda. Kananda. Kananda National Park. It's very small, but it's very pretty. Another good thing about Nanda National Park in South End, that's the sunset and we're in South Australia and it's setting over the ocean which you very 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 rarely get but um, yeah I love it. It'd be good when we get to the York and the Air because you get the same thing on the west side as you look out, um, you can see the sun setting, it looks amazing. Uh, All right, so we've just changed campsites. Um, the boys, oh, the boys, guys, off the dunes, off the dunes. If you want to play, go down on the beach. If you want to play, go down on the beach. Anyway, so we decided to move uh, because the weather's going to be a bit dodgy over the next few days. It's lovely now, but it's going to get um, pretty windy, uh, gusts up to like 60 or 70 k's an hour. So nestled in here behind the trees, the winds will come from that direction. So hopefully um, we can leave the awning out. Spag bowl for dinner. Tanya's done a massive shop. Check it out. How's the stacking going? Getting there. Get in there. Winning. Winning. Slowly. Slowly but surely. So there you go. We've got food. We've got everything we need. We've got spag bowl. And hopefully no rain. Now nah, we'll see. Oh, it seriously felt like cyclonic winds. I reckon that would have been 70, 70 or 80k an hour winds. Is the internet still working? The internet's still working, so Starlink's still up on the roof. But, oh um, man, that was intense. The shells are everywhere and the sunscreen's all the way over there. The sunscreen's all the way over there. The shells are everywhere. God knows what happened to my little work tent. The high chair's but almost in the bushes. The high chair's almost in the bushes. Oh, that was insane. That was insane. I don't, I don't, I don't want to want to go outside, but... That was full on. It was a I want to see huge, what, I want to see what huge damage your pit. squall of wind. Their tent survived. It'd be interesting to see. The other guys over there still had their awnings out. So if their awnings are still out, that will be, that will make a big meal of it. Anyway, I think that was the end of it. I think that it feels like that was the last hurrah. Uh, but to get to peak, in 40 peak in 40 minutes, supposedly, but the bureau's never that exact. Anyway, fun times in the van by the beach in South Australia in gale force winds and pouring rain. Ha! <laughs> Not. After a rainy, a very rainy 24 hours in the van, the skies cleared finally and we decided we'd go and check out uh, Millicent, which is about 30 minutes away and has arguably one of the best cafes in all of South Australia. Big call I know, um, but we went to the Shearer's Cook Cafe. I uh, didn't get any footage, but just unbelievable food, amazingly styled cafe, and just amazing coffee. So if you are going through the area, you should absolutely check out the cafe. Um, but we also uh, headed into the information centre, and there's actually a really quirky museum there, which, um, yeah, it was also pretty cool. So the weather wasn't fantastic, um, but yeah, it was good to just get out and, and explore the local area.
I gotta, gotta love packing up in the rain. I tell you what, packing up in the rain is just one of those, it's one of life's simple pleasures. But anyway, we're heading off. We are heading off to um, Narra Court. So we're gonna head back inland because we wanna check out the caves there. Um, South End Bush Camp, amazing spot. Campsites by the dunes, campsites by uh, out the back. Um, we we're in campsite eight. Uh, we think it's pretty primo. It's tucked right in the back. It's tucked away from the wind. As you can see, campsites right there. And then you swing around and the beach is just there. So look, it would have been a lot better if we hadn't been blown away by cyclonic winds for the last three days. But anyway, we're going into town. Hey, check out these shelves. This is what the boys have been uh, decorating. Aren't they cool? So we'll uh, leave that there for the next campers to hopefully find a little bit of joy. Ready to rock? Ready to rock? She's got that look on her face that says, I love you. <laughs> she needs a holiday. All right. Uh, well, we'll see you in Aracourt.